My name is Mike Oliveira. I'm a regional application engineer with Henkel Corporation, and today I'd like to show you Loctite's Extend Rust Treatment. You can see here we have it in a bottle form liquid. We also have it in a spray version. The purpose of the Extend Rust Treatment is to remove rust from various steel items that you may own. You'll see here today we're going to take a look at a truck leaf spring. We're going to neutralize the rust of it. Other applications would be things around the house such as lawnmowers, snowblowers, uh, barbecue grills, uh, fence posts, anything that's steel, that's rusted, and you need to uh, stop that rust from spreading, a Loctite Extend will do that for you. And when we use this, we're going to follow directions on the back. Okay, we're going to have to shake it, and we're going to have to make sure that our temperature is at least 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and hopefully uh, increasing, and no more than 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So that are the, the requirements for the Extend to work properly. So what we're going to do is shake it up per instructions and we're going to uh, put it into another container. We do not want to mix rust from our uh, leaf spring back into the master container and contaminate it. Okay. So. Now when you work on your rusted part, you make sh must make sure the rust is solid. Okay, if you take a look here, uh, it doesn't look too bad. You don't want any flaking rust at all. If it's flaking, you must remove it and get it down to a solid surface. Okay, you can use such things as a, a, an abrasive grit sandpaper or even such anything like a wire brush. So what we'll do is we'll just brush off a portion of this leaf spring to make sure that we don't have any loose particles on there. Again, we just need to get it down to a solid surface. We don't want bare metal. The extent will not work on bare metal. There must be some rust. Okay, once we're sure we've got a pretty solid surface, we just want to dust it off with a rag or anything that you can just remove the loose dust particles with. So you can see here, we're pretty much down to a solid level, nothing's flaking off. So this would be a good surface to put the extend on. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to shake up our bottle, dispense a little bit into this cup here. And when we're done with it, we can discard it. Again, we will not put anything back into the master container. Now, for applying the, the extend, you can use something as a paste brush, a foam brush, uh, anything disposable. That will work just fine. If your application is very large, you can actually spray the extend in an airless sprayer. So, this liquid will become a milky white when we apply it. As it starts to cure, it'll turn a shade of purple and then eventually it'll turn black. So depending on your ambient conditions, the humidity and temperature, it'll take about 15 minutes and then you can re reapply a second coat. Okay, so we'll pour a little bit in here. Okay, it's kind of a grayish color to it. That's all we need. If we need more, we can pour more. Okay. So what we do is we're just gonna brush this on our metal part. Okay, just apply it on there liberally. We want to make sure we get all the little pits and voids in the metal. So it doesn't have to be fancy. Just cover it. Okay. Eventually this will start to dry, it'll turn a purplish color, and then eventually black. And then at that time it turns black, that l lets us know when it has dried and we can put a second coat on there. So now we'll just wait until it's dry and again that'll be about 15 minutes or so. All right, approximately 15 minutes has gone by and we're going to apply our second coat of the Extend. We're just going to put it right over the top of the first coat. Again, same application method. Make sure you get a good coat weight on there, spread it out. You get all the little pits and voids if you missed any the first time. And we'll let it dry again for another 15 minutes or so. It's recommended to go a minimum of two coats. Recommended is three. And after the three, you have to decide what you're going to do. You're going to leave the extend as it is, or you're going to top coat it. So that really depends on the, uh, the environment that your part is in. If it's a, in a very rough environment, let's say like a, a lot of salt in the air, a lot of corrosion, chemical attack, we, we consider that a, um, a severe environment, and that should be top coated with some type of paint. So you want to follow the paint manufacturer's recommendations for the amount of coats of paint and primer that you can put on the Extend. 
Uh, if it's not in a severe environment, then you can leave the extend as it is, and uh, that will take care of your rust problems. Thank you.